Hallo und wieder herzlich willkommen bei Life is Strange Episode 3 Chaos Theory. Wir haben unseren Ausflug in die Schule in der Nacht gut überstanden. Einigermaßen zumindest. Es war doch recht knapp und ja, mit diesen Kräften zu spielen ist nicht so ganz einfach. Aber ich komme langsam rein. Ich hoffe, ihr habt Geduld bei mir. Es geht dann weiter. Das ist der nächste Morgen und wir spielen an dieser Stelle weiter. Viel Spaß mit Zuschauen. Always remember this moment. Photobomb! Photohog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing. I think we have to walk Keep waving at the taxis They keep turning their lights off I'm so wiped out from last night But it was awesome I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become Last night was only the tip of the iceberg I have to admit it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Okay, I need to get dressed now. I don't think I'll be washing today. I could have hid in the closet and then David wouldn't be on my case. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Just keep going to the bathroom, I'll say you'll be right back. Well, it takes one to know one kid, I think you got Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. What's so easy in the evening by the morning, such. I got a flask inside my pocket, we can share it on I should have sparked up that joint in front of David so he wouldn't have hit Chloe. And if you promise to stay conscious, I'll try. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Well, we might die from medication, but we sure kill love. Can I check out the news on this old laptop? 
least we haven't been identified yet. I have to go, especially since Kate's parents aren't going to bury her here. Reasons all have run away, but the feeling never did. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. So complicated. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable so outfit in my fashion in the moonlight. So simple in the moonlight. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Ja, warum nicht? Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Ja, dann probieren wir doch nochmal die Alternative. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances. Whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. I am so going to best unfriend you for that. I love that Chloe is so fearless. Irgendwie gefällt mir das besser. Also lassen wir das doch einfach. I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's 
like when we were kids here. Check out Mad Max, <laughs> ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. Looks like a message. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break ins. What? Give me a call soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Jetzt helfen wir mal ausnahmsweise und entfernen das. Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Das gefällt mir ganz gut. Who drinks beer this early around here? Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Wowzer, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Hmm. Das essen wir denn heute mal. Eier und Bacon, das hat man euch letztes Mal, ne? Immer Pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. 
The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Now for the mother's milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Now that's what I call pancakes. See, Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. And you again? Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. 
Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Das machen wir in der nächsten Folge. Schönen Dank fürs Zuschauen hier bei Life is Strange Episode 3 Chaos Theory. Und ich hoffe, ihr seid beim nächsten Mal wieder dabei. Bis dahin. Tschüss.